Are you using sort command to organize scores among a wide range of dataset? Sorting removes the previous arrangement, right? Want to keep both and get top 10 out of it? Let's see if that's possible. Hello there. This is Farihad Tumi from Excel Demi. Your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Here is a dataset with mark and name records of 14 students. Based on marks, we will learn how to create a dynamic top 10 list in Excel using Excel 365. You can use any other available versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here, we will add top 10 marks in column F. Then we will use another formula to get the names corresponding to the marks. In cell F5, let's type a formula. Equal, since we need to add equal to write any formula. Let's add large function. It will get the largest number from an array corresponding to a sequence. So tap our array is C5 to C18. Make sure to make it absolute using F4 key so that it doesn't change even if we use fill handle tool. Comma, our sequences are these ones, which is basically K, as you can see in the syntax. So let's click. E5 since mark in F5 will be the first top. Closing parenthesis, enter. Now let's use fill handle or you can just double click on the bottom right corner to autofill the cells. The marks are arranged in top 10 list. Now we will find the corresponding names. For that, we will use a formula that combines index and match function. Let's use the formula first. Index Here, B5 to B18 is the name range and it will match the mark from F5, which is 96. And the array to match from is the mark range, which is C5 to C18 and 0 for exact match. Now, let's use fill handle to drag the formula till G14. Easy, right? Now, we want to have a top 10 list based on marks, but we don't want to see the marks, the names only. Let's use a formula that will only get the names based on the marks. This formula will combine index, match and large function. Let's try the formula first. Index function will index from B5 to B18, which is the name range. And the match criteria will be from the large function, which will bring the topmost value that belongs to sequence 1, as in E5, from C5 to C18. And matching the criteria, match function will look into C5 to C18 and 0 for exact match. Following this, index function will get us the name value from this range. Enter. Now let's double click on the bottom right corner. Here, our cells are autofill.
tired of using the fill handle tool? You want to get both name and mark of top 10 list with one formula only? This is the method for you. Here, we will combine a formula using index, sort and sequence function. Let's try the formula first. So you can see that the entire cell range based on 10 sequence is automatically generated with one formula only. Let's break down the formula for you. Here, sort function will sort this entire range which is B5 to C18 based on second column which is the mark column according to descending order which is denoted by minus 1 and sequence is top 10 this is why we added 10 and 1 comma 2 is for the column numbers because we want name and mark which is first column and second column it's less complicated than previous two right we already discussed a combination of three functions to get name values for top 10 list without getting the marks. Now let's use a combination of two functions only. The functions will be xlookup and large functions. Let's try the formula first. In this formula, xlookup will look up for the criteria that will get the topmost value from the large functions using the first sequence and it will look up from C5 to C18 or the mark range and it will get us the value of name range which is B5 to B18. Here we have used function 4 or F4 key to make the cell ranges absolute. So that later on when we use fill handle tool, the row numbers doesn't get changed. Let's double click on the bottom right corner. Here, autofill is done. In this method, we will use another combination of three functions using sort, filter and large function to get both name and mark values for dynamic top 10 list. Let's see if the formula works. As you can see that all the cells here are added with output with the help of one formula only. Let's break down the formula for you. Here large function using the array of C5 to C18 which is our mark cell range will get the sequence of top 10. Now we will filter B5 to C18 which is name and mark values the entire cell range considering the category if the mark values are greater than or equals to the large function output. And for the sort function, 2 is for sorting based on second column and minus 1 is for descending order.
You might have noticed in the data set that there are records of the same students twice, such as Jose, Elisa, or Joe. Now this method will exclude the data that will be found twice. For this, we will use a formula with the combination of four functions, index, match, large, and county function. Let's try the formula first. From the formula here, let's break it down for you. Here, COUNTIF will look in this range following the criteria if it matches B5 to B18 or the name range. If the output is 0, that will be multiplied with the criteria that C5 to C18 or the mark range is equals to the large function that brings the top 10 values from C5 to C18 according to this sequence. Now, if both of these conditions match and give 1, match function will match 1 from this output and it will give us an exact match and it will send it to index. Index function will give us the names from B5 to B18 range. Now let's double click on the bottom right corner. You can see that in the sixth sequence there is an error. Jose 71. Since Jose is already in number one, this cell shows an error since a duplicate value is found. Now we want to create a dynamic top 10 list without using any formula at all. For that, we need to use conditional formatting, filter, and sort. Let's go along with this. Select cell range C5 to C18 under the Home tab and Styles group, go to Conditional Formatting. Here, select Top or Bottom Rules, Top 10 Items. We can see that Top 10 values are formatted with light red fill with dark red text. OK. Now, let's see. We want to filter the top 10 results. For that, click C4 to C18, right click on it, and select Filter, Filter by Selected Cells Color. Here, from the filter icon beside Mark, left click on it, and on this, select this fill color. Now you can see the top 10 values for the mark. Since the top 10 values might be unorganized, select fill icon again and go to sort largest to smallest. Okay. Now you can see that we have created a dynamic top 10 list using conditional formatting, filter and sort. We can create a dynamic top 10 list using pivot table as well. Let's try it out. Select the entire cell range B4 to C18. Go to Insert tab and from the tables group, select Pivot table. Our range is already selected and we want to place our pivot table in the existing worksheet. And location will be E3. Okay. Now, names will be in rows and mark 
pin values. So our pivot table is generated. Now, to get the top 10 values, let's click on the drop down beside row labels. Here, select value filters and select top 10. You can see that it will show us top 10 items by sum of mark. Okay, here you go. Now, the only drawback of this method is the data set that we found after output is not sorted. Otherwise, it's a wonderful method, right? From these eight methods, you can use any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.